Hello, again. <sighs> My name is Lauren. I just turned 30 years old last month and took an epic trip to Vegas with three of my girlfriends, who are all here, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I have a job, a great group of friends, and a supportive family. My mom even flew in from New York today just to hear me speak. Hi, Mom. I'm a daughter, an aunt to two nephews, one niece, and a cat named Lily. I'm a sister, a colleague, and a friend. I'm a dog mom to my sweet little Caroline, and on Sundays, you can find me yelling, crying, or screaming from pure joy or anger about my football team. Go Bills. I love to laugh, and if you look at my social media, you'll see me doing just that. Laughing, smiling, traveling all, traveling all over the country, and experiencing some pretty awesome moments, like seeing Hamilton with my best friend, traveling to Hawaii to witness two of my friends get married, and making my way through the best food and drink DC has to offer. My name is Lauren. I just turned 30 years old last month. I've been a suicide loss survivor for 20 years after my dad lost his battle with bipolar disorder when I was just nine years old. I've been in and out of therapy as long as I can remember, and my struggle through the years has ebbed and flowed. I was officially diagnosed with depression in 2016. I have had moments, days, and weeks where my depression and pain was so debilitating that I couldn't get out of bed, couldn't move, get dressed, or even shower. I was unable to perform simple tasks that most, that most take for granted, like doing the dishes or taking my dog outside for a walk. I have closed my eyes and thought about how much better things would be if I was no longer alive. How it would feel to have no more pain, no more sadness, and no more depression. I have thought about how much easier it would be for my friends and family if they didn't have to deal with me and watch me struggle through my every day. In my lowest moments, I have lost friends, slept with strange men I didn't know just to feel wanted, accepted drugs from strangers on 14th Street, and completely isolated from those who love me. I was involved in a relationship that was physically and emotionally abusive, and despite all the work I have done to accept my truth around this, to be honest, when I go to bed at night, I wonder if anyone will ever love me again the way he did, and I fear I might never love anyone the way I loved him. I know that sounds ridiculous because I remember the first moment that he threw me into the wall and emotionally abused me on a daily basis. So much so that I don't like to drive with other people in my car for fear of taking a wrong turn, driving too slow or too fast, and being yelled at, scolded, and berated for simply driving. A year and a half ago, I stood on a This Is My Brave stage and shared my story up until that point. And at the end, I wrapped everything up in a bow because I thought that was the only way I would be able to share with my friends and family my perspective of what I had been through. I thought the only way I could open up and be honest was to assure them that now everything was fine and I was okay. The real truth is this. During that time, I was in the middle of my worst depressive episode to date. I was completely numb and I felt like a fraud because I actually was not okay and not only was everything not fine, it was terrible, scary as hell, and I was in pure agony. Well, tonight, the end of my story changes. I can proudly say that since July of 2017, I've been depressive episode free. I've put in the work and I've showed up to therapy most every week, twice a week, and worked through some issues I didn't even know that I was facing. And a shout out to my amazing therapist who is currently on maternity leave, who I miss seeing every week, but is the reason that I am here standing on this stage today. I now know that I don't have to wrap anything up in a bow for you. I can, be, I can simply be honest and real. I'm a work in progress. I take every day as it comes. Currently, I have more good days than bad, but I still do have minutes, hours, days, and sometimes even a bad week, but that's okay, and I keep going. 
Through all of my work in therapy, I see things a little differently now. I can recognize my triggers and have a better understanding of healthy coping mechanisms. I ask for help when I need it. I speak up for myself more than I ever have, and I try to find things in my life that fill my soul. I can even get myself to do the dishes again, and my little Caroline gets plenty of walks. I make small choices every day that help keep me energized and keep me going. I turned my pain into my passion and work every day to help those whose voices are going unheard. My name is Lauren. I'm 30 years old. I'm a suicide loss survivor. I have amazing, supportive friends and family. And I have depression, but it does not define me. And this right here, this is my brave. Thank you.